Hey everybody, welcome to a boat tour I'm very excited about. Uh, a week ago I showed up here to help some new owners figure out the ins and outs of the West Sail 32 that they just purchased. Little did I know that this was going to be the finest example of a West Sail 32. Probably one of the top five in the world. I truly believe that. This is an absolutely remarkable boat. It's been completely rebuilt from the bottom up and is truly an exceptional example. We'll take you to the deck and then we're going to take you down below. The owners gave me permission to just show it around and uh, share it with everybody. So here we go. Alright, starting out here in the cockpit, we've got B&G set up, integrated with the one down below on the nav station. The easy, easy navigation. No need for your iPhone or anything like that. Very interesting. Back here we've got the hydrovane, which I had never used before until getting on this boat, but it's absolutely fantastic. The stainless steel push pit allows for a whole lot more room back here. With that tiller pushed over, you've essentially got a whole area, a seating area that Mighty Sparrow would most definitely love to have, or at least I would on Mighty Sparrow. We've got a great lazarette with our propane. It's a nice feature to have that in that box, airtight, ready to go. Everything's nice and clean. Just over here, we also have another cockpit locker with lines easy access good stowage so you don't have to worry about any of that we've got our original primary winches self tailing the barlows beautiful setup for the gallows very clean no solar panels on it yet the owners will probably install some eventually but just a simple clean roomy cockpit and then we also have the larger porthole up forward for the person at the nav station to be able to communicate to whoever's on the helm really just a fantastic looking setup for this area and this little guy this prism we'll show you that when we get into the engine room but it really is quite amazing all right moving forward you can see that the varnish work is just top notch everything is absolutely to the nines and everything has covers. This is actually one of those butterfly hatches, but I believe it's been modified so that instead of these lifting up, which were always kind of leaky, this whole thing comes up. It's one unit, and again, the varnish is absolutely impeccable, and everything has covers. Every last bit of varnish on this boat has you know, its own custom cover to be used. With the boom vang, we've also got the traveler for the main sheet really great stuff nice tri-cut radial sails i believe custom made as well for the boat we've got a mainsail a staysail with a self-tacking boom and then a yankee on the furling system again we've got the upgraded door raids the boxes instead of just a through haul west sails were definitely overbuilt but they were also very basic and unlike sparrow these can stay open out at sea because they'll spill the water right out. Very heavy duty mast pulpits, really, really beefy. And again, just the beautiful varnish work. It doesn't get much better than that. Here we go, down below in the main cabin here. We've got the nice booth seating, which I always love. Again, the varnish work above is only trumped by the varnish work below. This table folds down and this will turn into the bunk when you're out at sea. Got storage obviously here and here. Also underneath each seat. Cushions are extra thick with the memory foam, super soft. Beautiful covers for these and really just a luxurious feel all around. Over here, the settee. This part will come out and actually create another bunk there. 
storage 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 the battery bank is underneath this bunk so it's at least elevated from the bilge one of the really nice features of this boat is that it has a traditional pilot's berth so that the captain or whoever can sleep back here right next to the nav station tilt their head up and then they get the full view of the electronics and what the ship is doing it's got these big beautiful fans pumping out a ton we've got our control panel there for all of our lights and our breakers and then we have the shore power panel back there absolutely a phenomenal setup when it comes to a nav station it's small yet big enough to unroll an actual chart if you want to beautiful beautiful woodwork again everything top notch and we've got the B&G large screen touch screen navigation system the VHF in there and yet again one more of these prisms that light is coming from above deck and it's just from the Sun obviously the obligatory sailing into oblivion every West sail owner hey every boat owner should have one of those but again we've got our wet locker in there for life jackets and things like that keep the mess down really just a fantastic setup as far as the nav station goes moving forward we've got our head in here and again everything is absolutely stunning as far as the craftsmanship and everything aboard is just absolutely taken to the next level these i believe are granite countertops we've got the beautiful sort of bronze and gold inlaid sink i mean next level storage back there storage and storage as well tiny manual head also you'll notice that every one of the faucets are all manual as well that's going to cut down on your power usage and uh, we've got the big porthole in here for nice ventilation a little medicine cabinet what else could you ask for really big storage space in here we've got the up and down tall locker which i know is hard to see it's not much light it is pretty early in the morning and then we've got cabinetry right here lots and lots of storage you could have a full wardrobe on this boat without any issue and up forward we have a lovely lovely four peak big plush cushions very comfortable this is where i've been sleeping there's also extra cushions here to be able to fill this gap in and one of the very unique features with this west sail is that this all has been lowered down by about six inches on sparrow the edge of the bed would be up here so the actual cushions there which leaves very little room but on this boat you can turn over you turn around and you don't bump your head or your legs you can see all just this fantastic woodwork and varnish we've got double fans up here access to the anchor locker and more storage as well this entire area you can put an entire sail plan in with the hydro vanes wind vane a little man overboard from yesterday just absolutely beautiful now underneath the cabin sole and you'll notice above us so there's the butterfly hatches but there's about six foot four of headroom in this boat there's a bit of a, an angle or a uh, a bit of a curvature to the ceiling and it's just fantastic all the sort of rustic paneled look without all the pain of individual boards so really really good again they have the oversized portholes instead of just a round six or eight inch hole we've got the wider ones i believe these are found on the west sale 42. with all these open literally you feel like you're outside it's phenomenal now on to one of my favorite and most impressive i think aspects of this boat the galley again we've got sort of the granite countertops everything inlaid we've got the foot action fresh water and then we've also got the salt water there again no electricity needed absolutely phenomenal got a beautiful broad water range and stove absolutely beautiful 
Mine came out of an RV or something. This thing is made for the ocean. It's got the high guardrails. Absolutely amazing. We've got storage for plates. We've got the pantry, more storage. And then we have the double lid fridge so that you don't have to open the entire thing. And it's got the Frigo boat cooling plate, but the actual large plate. Everything is insulated just perfectly. And we have our temperature gauge right over there. Again, just fantastic. And it really just has the feel of a miniature high-end kitchen. Part of what makes this pretty cool as well, these fans are great. We've got the original plate right there from Westdale Company, and then this beautiful piece. You can see that's a nice schooner engraved in this. A piece like this is probably gonna be taken off of the boat because the new owners have the adventurous tickle and we'll be heading offshore soon enough. So that will probably be a little prize piece that goes home with them. I know on Mighty Sparrow that might last about one week before it shattered into pieces. So they wanna protect that. We've got the compression posts here under the mast and then the keel step. One of the features that I really love about this are the hanging hooks. So you can go ahead and close that porthole, but when you want them open, you don't have to prop them up with any sticks or anything like that. They each have their own individual hook, which keeps them up out of the way so no one's gonna hit their head. But again, we have six portholes on the side. We've got the seventh right there for the cockpit. Absolutely stunning. Good natural light coming in through the butterfly hatch up top which is guarded by the steel beams. Two compression posts for the deck there and also hand holds for moving around the boat in heavy weather. All right, now for the piece de resistance. We've got our nice little engine room door. Let me go ahead and crack that open. We've got a 38 horsepower Beta with less than 300 hours on it. It's absolutely beautiful. The light that's coming in is from that prism and it's still only about 7 a.m. So the sun's not even up and it's already illuminating our area. Really clean. We've got two fuel tanks in here. All the bells and whistles. Everything is clean. Exactly how it should be in an engine. And this thing purrs. One of the nice parts is everything is soundproofed as well. So that easily someone could sleep while the engine is running and the boat is underway. Absolutely phenomenal. Galley, room for four people easily to sleep underway. And what else could you ask for? It's a beauty, beauty. The first time I stepped foot on this boat, not ever seeing it before, I felt like I should be wearing a tuxedo. It really was unbelievable to see how well-crafted a West Sail could be and how beautiful it could actually look down below and one of the aspects we went out on the first day it was a bit bumpy boats rocking and rolling down here it was absolutely quiet the joinery is beautiful mighty sparrow's been called a popcorn maker as far as the joinery popping and creaking down below in heavy weather that's not true with this boat it's absolutely phenomenal it's quiet everything is done to the highest level and it really shows.